And what chances have you got of fixing it and driving on? Well, I think very good, but the thing might just go again every 10 kilometres. We don't know. If we get any, we were stuck in there last night. Yes. And I think backing out again upsets. In the camel's raft, we were surprised to see a camel train. And we wondered where they come from. And where it was going. Who's aloof? And go about their job without any emotion one way or the other. <coughs> their main job is as pack animals. The last of the salt caravans, traveling from Bilma to Agadez, employs about 500 camels for the crossing of the Tenere Sand Sea. Whether on camels or in cars, we have to continue on our way. To those... An old desert saying has it. wild animals. There is as much variety of produce in this small African market as you'll ever find in a western supermarket. <laughs> young British explorer was the first to reach the Niger River. He traveled downstream, nearly the whole length of the waterway. Kai was the first to describe to an eager world what Timbuktu was really like. Since the tourists, the scene at this port is not so very different from what Kai saw when he landed 150 years ago. Yet to all lovers of the Sahara, and to all those who would pay tribute to the men who first explored and crossed it, Rennie Kai and Gordon Lang. A journey such as this is in the nature of a pilgrimage, a journey along the lonely road to Timbuktu.